Greetings to all connoisseurs of good battles. How often have you become the main striking force of the team while also being at the bottom of the list? While you're trying to remember, I'll tell you about our player, Nairon GT from the EU server, who sails on the Japanese cruiser Arpeggio Takeo. However, to stay within the style of our series, it will appear on your screens as Atago. But me personally, I'd call him a super secret agent, Double O Kraken. The guys like our hero may not get much attention, but they always bear the main brunt of the work. But first things first. Just like any other special agent, our Otago didn't waste any time on idle conversations and reflections. They set out to fulfill their primary tasks immediately, to methodically destroy enemy forces and achieve victory. Lines 9 and 10, open water, a lot of room for maneuvering, and an opportunity to blend in with the crowd of allied destroyers and a cruiser. It's obvious that our hero didn't miss any episode of the Map Tactics series. In almost no time, skillful actions and concealment allowed them to inflict three Citadel hits on three enemy cruisers and treat an enemy Khabarovsk lurking in smoke to a torpedo. While the enemy was retreating in perplexity, Otago switched to Kagero, who snuck up to our base. Real special agents deal with enemy spies in the blink of an eye. A couple of salvos towards the destroyer. The first frag? No. Chapayev stole it from us at the last moment. Despite the fact that the situation in this battle is not in our favor, the Japanese cruiser keeps its composure and concentrates on fulfilling its mission. In keeping with the best traditions of spy movies, skillfully hiding behind islands, the Japanese ship spots the damaged Khabarovsk, a helping of HE shells, and that's the first frag. Enemy smoke dead ahead. A good trap. But our hero has a counter plan. Send a torpedo spread to it and disappear instantly. But the island just couldn't let Otago go. An unfortunate mooring and a very unpleasant encounter with two enemy cruisers at once. Edinburgh and Ibuki. It's as bad as it gets, but the worst is Khabarovsk, just 1.5 kilometers away. Our hero is about to go down. Under a ceaseless cannonade, Otago finally managed to escape the island captivity. Mere seconds remain before the Soviet torpedoes arrive. Our hero tries to deal as much damage as possible to the destroyer before their demise. Otago launches torpedoes. They've already prepared a place for the It's Just a Flesh Wound achievement. But no, it's not that simple. And yes, Khabarovsk is history. Meanwhile, only four ships remain in our team against six enemies. The score is 272 against 500, and an undamaged Amagi is only six kilometers away. The main battery won't destroy such an adversary, but we can mix seawater with some torpedoes. For example, we can launch them at that strait where the battleship will surely pass. A cold calculation and a skillful drop. And the Japanese heavyweight sinks after being hit by five torpedoes. Our hero has already scored three frags. However, a true special agent can't be content with fleeting results. They fight for a successful outcome of the entire operation, and our base is under attack again. The same two cruisers, Ibuki and Edinburgh. The first draws attention while the second sets up a smokescreen and enters the capturing circle. But our allies quickly send both the Japanese and the Brit on a double date with mermaids. However, the remaining adversaries didn't fritter their time away. And the number of ships became even. Otago and Udaloy against Grosser Kerferst and Shimakaze. Tiers 8 and 9 against two Tier 10 ships. Less than five minutes to play. The smell of defeat is already in the air. It's time to act in the best traditions of Ian Fleming's books. Keeping both opponents under control, Otago robs the destroyer of HP with precise salvos and sends a torpedo package towards the German battleship. They do all that while maneuvering to avoid shells from Kerfurst. 
The score is 383 against 477. Less than three minutes until the end. Three torpedoes hit the German and the battleship began to take on water quickly, losing its HP. And Shimakaze reached the edge of the map, nowhere to run. The enemy destroyer should have stopped firing and disappeared. And the battleship should have remembered that Japanese torpedoes have a long range. Sadly, these simple truths only come to mind after the battle. The last salvo from Otago at the destroyer. Kerfurst sinks and HE shells put an explosive end to this match. Double strike, Kraken unleashed and victory. Why didn't Kerfurst change course to dodge the torpedoes? Why did Shimakaze engage Udeloy in an artillery duel? Answers to these questions will remain a mystery. Like many other things in this battle. But the main thing is the outcome, and it leaves an impression. 212,000 damage, 5 ships sunk, and 3,700 base XP earned. For this excellent performance and an impeccably completed mission, accuracy, calculation, and composure, our hero receives doubloons and a commemorative flag. I'm sure that you, my humble friend, can do better. Send me your replay.